Coach, have you ever been to the Star? I have never been to the Star. This will be my first time. What have you heard about it? Just that it's a phenomenal experience. I know the crowd uh, packs the house. Um, I know it's going to be a great show put on by our players. Top-notch facility, so we're looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. What did you talk to your group about? In what areas did you want for them to grow the most between that first scrimmage and now heading into the season? Yeah, you know, I know Coach King has said this, but when we're trying to get in, in, in play like we're in game shape, and so what happens in practice, they get used to going maybe four or five plays in a row, and then they take a break, and you put together a 10-play drive in a game, and you got to be willing and, and able to stay out there and, and be in great conditioning. That's number one. Number two, we want to play cleaner, no penalties, no mistakes, just are the mechanics of, of our offense, getting lined up, getting the signals. Um, Again, you have to step out of practice mode and not get into game mode, and, and uh, so Saturday's a big deal for us. And part of eliminating the penalties is just being more disciplined. How have you sort of challenged and encouraged your offensive guys to do that? Well, one, it's a, it's a maturity issue, you know, and, and we have enough guys that have played enough football around here that we shouldn't have those, those issues anymore. But two, it's being in great condition, being in great shape, and just focusing. You know, so a lot of time penalties are just lack of focus and, and being lazy. That's one thing that you've been uh, pleased with after 11 practices that you've seen maybe fairly consistently over the last few weeks? You know, I, it's just the look in their eye. I just I just sense some some hunger. I sense a team that, that wants to get better, that wants to learn, that, that wants to take the next step. You know, we, we talked early in, in spring as an offense about going from, from good to great. And I really truly think that they want to be great. And now they have to allow us as coaches to push them to that point. But I certainly think that the that the hunger is there, the look in their eye, the desire, I think all those things are there. Coach, I noticed uh, Trey King out there practice. Uh, what does he bring to the offense and you know, looking at film last year? Yeah, well, one, just a guy that's, that has been out there, some experience. And, you know, Trey's still kind of ironing out and working through some, some kinks, if you will. It's been a while, you know, since it, his injury. But, but man, he's, he's looking good. He's hitting the hole. Uh, I saw him today lower his pads a couple times and run with some velocity. So everything that we're looking for, he's going to bring and, and give us. And the, the combination of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, him and DeLeon Ward, just the, the potential there. Can you kind of speak to that? I think it's a great word. I think there's a lot of potential. And, you know, I spent a lot of years in the Big Ten, and I think those those guys are Big Ten physical running backs, if you will. You know, and, um, but, you know, D, D Ward has impressed me so much this spring, has, has ran with velocity. But that should be a, a dynamic one-two punch. You've been at places where you've had more than one good back in the same season, right? Or where you've used more than one sure. back in the same year. And got the yards well, yeah, you're going to need more than one back. You know, it's, yeah. it's physical. It's Division One big-time football. You can't go through the season just with one guy. That, that's, you're going to need three, maybe four. Same at quarterback. You just can't play one guy. you got to get more than one guy ready. We were trying to remember, was, did Trey have his pads on Tuesday or today? Kind of uh, I think maybe a little bit Tuesday he did. We kind of had him in some seven-on-seven -seven drills and maybe not as much full team. Today he kind of got uh, experience, to, uh, exposed to all of it. And um, so we're going to keep progressing him. So today was the most team that, that I've seen since I've been here, yes. Is Sterling Galvin a guy that we can see on the field next year? What's going to be his role? Maybe. You know, I think for Sterling it'll be how much he grows from this point on. So from when spring ball ends next weekend to we go play in August, how much is he willing to, to lift and, and eat and put on some mass on his body? How, how hard is he willing to work in the film room? We'll see. I think it's up to him. Daquan looks like he's a guy who's taken a lot more reps than I've seen in the last couple of years. What impresses you about him? Yeah, I think Daquan's ready to go. He's, he's waited a long time, you know, and he's worked really hard for a long time, and, and, and now he's ready to show everyone what he's got. Um, he's one of those guys that's got a great look in his eye, just of, of desire of to prove people wrong, uh, some hunger. So I'm excited to see what he can do. What are you, what's your impression of Duffy so far? Uh, I think Duffy can be a great player. I think that um, – at quarterback, you can never substitute just experience and reps. And man, if we could do spring ball about three more times, right? If I could get 30 more practices, that'd be phenomenal because he needs them. He needs them all. But he is a special talent. He's a special kid. Um, he just needs a lot of reps is all he needs. What do you think of his arm? I think he's got big time arm talent. I, really, I don't see a lot of weaknesses in his game other than he just hasn't played in that fast speed, that fast tempo of a defense coming to hunt you down. And I think once the more he gets with that, the more comfortable he gets, I think the sky's the limit for him. And your evaluation of uh, McLean right now as well? McLean, to me, is a guy that has, has done it a little bit more, so he's a little further ahead from the mental side of things. I think he's a talented kid, a skilled kid that can run it and throw it both. Uh, I think we can win with both of them. Just said uh, accuracy and decision-making was kind of the key for him, accuracy and practice in particular. Uh, where, how do you feel like he's grown? 
Um, I think that he's I think that he's working at it every day. You know, I think you talk to any quarterback and they're gonna say accuracy and decision making. Uh, that, that, that's what separates NFL level quarterbacks from just uh, good college quarterbacks. So uh, I think he's working at it every day. Is he there yet? Probably not. But that's why we coach and that's why we practice. You no, know, last year I was blown away by the atmosphere. You know, I walked through the tunnel to see the crowd was jam packed, you know, and uh, the facility is so nice, so I'm expecting just the same thing. So I'm really excited to go back. Coach Johns was just talking about the difference that experience and reps makes, and so an offensive line group mm. that has so much experience coming back. What difference does that make for you guys this spring? You know, it, all right, it's really it's really good because we all we all kind of know each other already, so we can just kind of kind of just click better and the more experience the better. So, where do you feel like you've grown the most here on the field since last season? Mm. I would have to say, just knowing the knowing the game, knowing the offense better, uh, just knowing my job, knowing the other person's job too, knowing what's going on in the backfield and what the receivers do, receivers are doing and stuff like that. There are more just bodies, so, you know, offensive linemen this spring mm -hmm. than I can remember. How does that help you uh, in your preparation and practice? Uh, it's good. Got more more competition, pretty much. So you always push each other. Who's a young guy that's really impressed you from that offensive line group? Maybe somebody who redshirted last year or somebody who we haven't seen yet on the field? Uh, I would say Gio. Gio's come a long way. He's come a long way. Uh, he, he's always, I seen him after school in there stretching and getting his arms and legs right. Just, just came a long way. And uh, Dawson Deaton, that man, is putting on a show this, this spring. So. What's he doing with Dawson? Dawson, he's just a physical player. You know, he knows. He knows. If he plays center, uh, right guard, tackle. He knows. He pretty much goes all this and down. So, very versatile. What do you think uh, Giovanni's key has been for him to go from not doing, not playing very much to playing? He just got to get in the film room and stay, stay in that weight room, getting stretching and getting stronger. He was, he'll be fine. What do you think he's done to get to the point now where he's, where he's actually getting on the field quite a bit? Uh, he's, he's doing extra work. I always see him in there when I, when I go in, in there stretching, get, trying to get his, his hip flexibility right and ankle mobility. What's it like to have Trey back out there, Keen? Trey? Oh, he's a, he's, a, he's a phenomenal back. Hits the hole hard. He's got a ton of experience, so it's good to have him back. Kind of same thing with Dayleon too. Dayleon, oh yeah, it's for been a while sure. Since you got him, huh? Yeah, no, Dayleon just just as good as uh, for, uh Trey. Trey. Yeah. Who's a guy that um, you feel like challenges you the most from the offensive line group? Somebody that's always kind of encouraging you, challenging you. Um, oh, I'd say my man Bruffy over there. We, we, we compete in everything we do in the off season. We compete, we lift together, so we compete in lifts, runs, uh, practice. Uh, in practice in the spring game, we get re graded, and so he he had a high score in that last last uh, spring game. So I aspired to beat him this this spring game. You kind of get him in the lifts, I assume. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Who was That's good because I, I push him. What about Fortnite? I saw y'all play oh, over yeah. there, Coach Joseph. Yeah. And I asked uh, with Gio about it. He said Billy Smith was, oh, was yeah, the best. Sure. Is that is he the best of uh, y'all? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how he does it. I'm not that good, <laughs> but yeah, Bailey Bailey for sure. That man, he knows how to game. It's fun to watch.